Hi, I'm Marcy from For Pete's Sake Cancer Respite Foundation, and I come and bring this video to you today on September 1st. 21 years ago today, uh, myself, uh, Pete's family, my family, and hundreds of friends say goodbye to Pete. Uh, he lost his battle with testicular cancer in 1999, and For Pete's Sake was his vision. It was his idea, it was his legacy, and it was his way to give back to so many families and so many people who were isolated, alone, frightened, and afraid because of a diagnosis of cancer. 21 years ago, and I sit here today, and I tell you that hundreds have been impacted because of his vision. They've been impacted because someone cared about a stranger. And in the world we live in today, there's no better good thing that we can do for someone else than give of ourselves. And Pete did that while he was alive, and he does it even today in his own legacy through For Pete's Sake. And I know it's uncertain times and we're going through an uncertain period that none of us have ever traveled before. Um, but I have three words that Pete said, don't give up. And he wrote them in his journal before he died. Don't ever give up, actually four words. Um, I was a math major in college, um, but think about that. And we've never given up at For Pete's Sake, um, and we still won't. And even through this, uh, through this period of time, we're, we're helping people. Just last week, we had eight families travel to one of our partners, Woodlock. And those eight families, those moms, dads, brothers, sisters, siblings, children, got to hold hands, got to laugh, got to love, and got to experience joy because of all the people who have supported For Pete's Sake over these years. And as we go forward, we're not going to give up. We're going to continue sending people on respites with our travel partner, Woodlock. We're gonna continue offering staycations, beautiful packages that help families create memories in their own home when they are too sick to travel. And we're gonna to continue to make sure that patients and young families who feel so isolated and alone during this time feel the love, the love from our new t-shirts, of the For Pete's Sake community. They feel you making a difference in their lives. So September 1st is a strong and powerful day for me personally, but I wanna share that with you today and make it part of who you are as an FPS supporter. And I hope that you take one minute to reflect on the good that you have been able to bring to a stranger. You know, you love someone unconditionally and you're loving a stranger unconditionally. And to that, I say thank you. To that, I say we are grateful for you being a part of our community. And I'm sure if Pete was here, he'd get a good laugh over us working hard um, to create a legacy that only makes our world a better place. So thank you for your support.